the introduction to a thesis is pretty important. It's sort of like the introduction to a book. And when someone reads the first three to five pages, they get a sense of whether they want to read on. So you want to spend some time on this. The first section, which I've labeled Big Picture Rationale, is labeled Overview in the template. And it really is a rationale, a three to four paragraph rationale for why your thesis topic is worth discussing from a big picture perspective. Why would anybody be interested in this? Why is it a significant problem that needs to be addressed? And you have to present this in a step-by-step -step logical way. So each paragraph has to flow in to the next paragraph. It's like you're making a case. Pretend that you're making a case for getting $100,000 in funding and you want to craft that case. Lead the, the reader so that they really are convinced that this is a topic that is worth investigating. So it's, it's just a small section, probably a page or a page and a half, but it's really important, that overview. The next section is equally important. I've called it a gap analysis here, but it's labeled previous research and problem areas. Now, it's not a complete literature review by any means. In fact, what you're concentrating on here is what the research has shown in general, and that's a statement about, well, the research in this particular area has shown this, and then you're going to identify a problem area or gap, but it hasn't looked at this, or it's only looked at this group or this population. So you're identifying areas where there are problems, and those problems are directly related to the purpose of your study. So you're only identifying problems that you're going to address in your study. So you quite literally present what research has been conducted, if any, and then you talk about the problem areas, and those problem areas are going to be addressed in your study. And that leads naturally into the purpose of your study. So there's a general overview statement about the purpose of your study. It's a one sentence thing. And then you would say specifically the following research questions will be addressed. And crafting the research questions is, is quite challenging, but that's critical that you craft them here and present them. So that's what the introduction is. Very important overview for someone who is intending to read your thesis.